Hey guys, a uh, quick project update. Um, I went to the flea market right up the road and uh, I got some things up there. There's a guy that was selling a bunch of really old, like 1960s, 1970s Atherin models. And uh, I got this. It's one of them. It's a Clinchfield flat car. It's uh, real metal and real wood. That's pretty cool. And uh, it's missing some stuff, but um, got that. And then I got this B&O uh, passenger car. It's missing a few detail parts, but uh, easy fix. And uh, these are going to be my next projects for the next couple of days. So I'll uh, keep a lookout for these. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get more updates on. Here's some pictures. Alright, I'm going to make this short this week because I feel like crap right now, but, um, I got, on my last video, it got silenced, and it was pretty gay, because so I had a great song playing, but they were like, ah, oh, you need copyright for that, yeah, fuck you. Um, but, I'm going to put those videos before this, which you probably already saw, because I'm going to put them before this video, obviously, um. But, I showed you the pictures and stuff of these cars that I did. I got another new one. But, um, this is the B&O that I got. Um, I got them for 10 bucks. This and the flat car. And, uh, it was all beat up and stuff. And, uh, so what I did was I took it off. Took the thing off uh, the bottom. I put some weights in it to hold it down. Um... They're actually scale weights. They're really nice weights. Um, I put Katie couplers on it on both sides, obviously, just to make it run better. Um, cleaned it up real nice. And what I did was I repainted it on the top to give it a nice look. Nice restored look. That's what it's supposed to go for. And then this is painted, all repainted, the best I could. Touch up paint pretty much. The only thing that looks bad are the windows, and they're scratched on the inside, so there's not much I can do about that. I'm um, still going to get some detailing parts for the end here. But other than that, it looks really good. So, there's that. And it runs really good, too. Um, this is the other part. I got the flat car and the b passenger car for 10 bucks. Minus the load, but um, I put this bulldozer on it because it's an old bulldozer, and I got this little hobo sitting on it for now. Not sure where he's gonna go on here, but that's just there for now. So uh, I'll take them off here for now. Looks really nice. This is the real deal right here. Full metal body, and then real wood on the top. It's the real deal. But um, when I bought this, it had uh, it was missing screws from the trucks and it had no couplers on it or coupler boxes whatsoever so I modified it to fit Katie couplers and then I put found some screws that would fit it and then put it on there so that's pretty cool it's a heavy tool and then I got this for five dollars up at the same guy and this was actually falling apart everything was off um, all the railings, the couplers, everything was off. So what I did was I found all the pieces in the box and then I got them all together. Oh jeez. Look at that. See? Already fucking things up. But um I got the these I had to cut. I found them, I had to cut them on both sides. I had to cut these for iron. Um had to fit them right, and then everything that's yellow, I painted myself. So, it's a pretty cool little model. And then I also put the KD couplers on those. And, um, it's 
really nice. So all together I have like $15 here in restoration. And these three cars, which is a really good deal, I think. For how old this is, like 1970s Atherin kit. And then like a 1980s Atherin kit, and then I don't even know what that is. It's not old, but it's not new. So, so Atherin kit is pretty nice. But this is definitely really nice. I like it a lot. 1970s Atherin kit. Flat, flat car. It's the real deal. It's pretty awesome. So, um... At my train club, I'm going to try and get some more of those. See if anybody's selling them. But, um, that's pretty much it for this video. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, yeah. Peace.